What is a section? The greatest tool to befall mankind. No, it is not. That is wine. However, a section can be very useful if you create long documents. It's basically a way of dividing up your document to make different parts of it look different. Talk a little bit about formatting for a minute. So normally when you want to change something uh, in your document, you might select it first. So let's say we want to change the title of this document video to make it look different. We'll select it and then we'll make the font size maybe bigger or maybe make it bold or maybe even uh, make it a different color. This is character level formatting because I can change just a single letter, a whole word, a paragraph, or, or the whole page, or even the whole document by selecting exactly what I want to change first. However, we've got different levels of formatting in uh, a lot of these types of applications. And page level formatting is a little different. That is formatting that you do, which gets applied to every page in the document, no choice. For instance, when you insert page numbers or add page numbers to your document, it will add a page number to every page in your document. You can't skip. You don't have a choice. This is page level formatting. Quick examples of page level formatting. We've got margins, that white space on the top, bottom, left, and right of the text and the edge of the page. If you change the margin, you're not changing it for one page. You're changing it for every page in your document. Orientation. That's if your page is portrait or landscape. If you change the orientation in your document, that will be the orientation applied to every page. Page size. You can change the size of the page that you want to use that you're going to put in the printer, for instance, from letter to legal. But once you change the size, you cannot do it for just one page. We have page borders, that little fancy flare that you can put around your page close to the margin. This is page level formatting. And headers and footers. That blank area in the top and the bottom margin, we often put things in there identifying kinds of information like the name of the document, uh, title of a chapter, page numbers, dates, other things. But once you put it in the margin, in the header or the footer, it will appear on every page. You don't have a choice. Unless the exception is using sections. Haha, -ha, see what I did there? Sections, using sections, allows you to change the page formatting on just some of the pages and not all of them. So do you need to use sections in your document? Totally depends. Most of the time, probably not, but it's really helpful. You have a long document. So this little short report, I wouldn't divide this up into sections. Everything's pretty consistent. It's just a plain old report, no page numbers, um, everything, the same margins, everything is going to be but let's say for that same report, I add a lot more pages. Okay, so now I am gonna wanna add some page numbers. But this report is so long, you know what? I want a cover page. But when I add any page, the page numbers, since I have applied page numbers, inserted page numbers, they are going to be on every page, including my cover page, which eh, I'm not kinda liking that. Oh, you know what? I need to add some stats to this report too. So I'm going to add a, another page with just a chart of my stats. Huh, but I don't like the way that looks either. It, it doesn't fill up the whole page. It's only using part of the page. Well, this is a case where using sections can get me what I want and how I want this to look. That page with the stats, that's going to look better, I think, if I make that landscape. And see, now it fills up the page. It looks much better. The problem is this, if I change the page orientation for that one page, it's going, that orientation is going to change for all my pages. And this is not how I want my report to look. 
I need to divide it up into sections. So you can kind of think of sections like this. That first document, that plain document, is just a plain piece of cake. Nothing fancy, just couple of it is. Yum yum. But once my document started getting more complicated, we could think of it as a, I guess, a more extravagant piece of cake. Yeah, I don't know about this one either, but this is the picture I could find. This cake has a lot going on. I don't know about you. My kids would love this. But this cake, for instance, it's got two layers, two different layers of spongy yellow cake. It's got a whipped cream filling, probably with some fruit in it. And that whipped cream filling is a whole different type of material, a whole different format, if you will, than the spongy yellow part. We've got buttercream ice cream icing all over it that covers the whole cake. And we even got some fancy stuff going on on top with all of these different types of uh, pretty colorful fruit. Your document, that document that I just created, my report, is one document. It's under one file name. But we can break it out kind of into different sections. I got my cover page, which is kind of fancy and set off and it looks different than the rest of my document. Think of that as the, the topping with the fruit. Notice I've got no page number. I don't want a page number on my cover page, so I took it off. I've got the main body or the main text of my document. Just, you know, all of the words, all the information. You can think of that as the spongy yellow cake. I got my chart that I want in the middle and that set off because I changed the orientation so it fill up the page better. So that chart, we could think of that throwing that in the middle of that a little bit of kick, like uh, that crazy uh, whipped cream filling that's in that cake that we just saw. And I've got the rest of my report. So again, more text, kind of like the spongy yellow cake part. That's the main part of the cake. The main, and this text is the main part of my document. And if you want, we can just continue this bad analogy with the buttercream icing that's all over the cake, just like headers and footers are all through the document, almost all the document, but that's what makes it a bad analogy. So what kinds of stuff would you want to put in a separate section within the same document? Well, like we saw, a cover page is uh, definitely an example of something you might want to have in its own separate section so it doesn't have the page numbers and headers and footers that the rest of your document might need. A table of contents is often something that's often in a separate section, especially, again, if you don't want page num a page number on the page with your table of contents. Uh, let's say you have a, a long document where you have throw a form in the middle of it. Uh, let's say, for instance, like a, uh, a manual or a um, some type of brochure, long form brochure. You might throw a, a form in the middle of it and you want that form to have a different format. You might want it to be uh, go landscape instead of portrait like this. You probably don't want a page number on it. You could separate this in a separate section and format it the way that you want it to look. Maybe you have a sales page or an advertisement in the middle of your document. This happens often when you download uh, free content online, let's say um, instructions on how to do something uh, or uh, information on a, a various product. You might have a separate page in that in your document that looks completely different. It looks more like a flyer than the rest of the text. You might have a tear out sheet in your document. Let's see, if you teach, if you do classes, if you are, again, are, if you are creating a document to advertise something that you are doing or um, an event that you are promoting, you might have a sheet in there that's completely different than the rest of the text that somebody could use to uh, tear it out as coupons, as a, uh, a quick one-page guide, etc. Using sections, you can make that page look different. And lastly, like we, sh like I showed you before in our um, in the, our example document, you can set your tables and charts off on a completely different page with different types of formatting, if 
you divide your document up into sections. So sections are, again, just a way to divide up the areas of your document when you need one or a few of the pages to look different. The biggest changes that tend to be made are changing the, page, the orientation of just one or a couple of pages from landscape to portrait or portrait to landscape. If you have borders, sometimes we put borders on just the cover page and not the rest of the document. Or you might put a border around a form that's at the end of the document, but you don't want that page border on all of the pages. Your margins, if you need to have different margins for just one page. Or headers or footers, if you don't want headers or footers on every single page. How you divide the document up into sections depends on the program that you're using. But most of the programs that you use for uh, creating documents will allow you to divide it up into sections to change your formatting.